Well, Monte, um, you've had a lot of time to think about your decision. Yeah. Uh, what decision have you made? Um, I've been looking over um, everything and um, the situation that I will be in. Um, if I was to leave and stay um, here at Iowa State University or go to the NBA, um, sit down with my family and Coach Prom, you know, we made the decision uh, that I'll be returning to Iowa State University next season and, and be a Cyclone. How does that make you feel? It made me feel good. Um, you know, these fans have been loyal to me, you know, you know and I just always want to be um, forever true to them and um, be loyal as well. What were some of the biggest things that mm -hmm. made you end up choosing that? Um, I just feel like I, I have a lot more I can accomplish, you know, in college basketball and, um, um, and just milestones that I can uh, set, and a legacy I can leave, you know, at this university, you know, with the assists and, um, you know, uh, being 40 steals away from being all the time in that. So um, I think little things like that and becoming the best professional uh, on and off the court, I feel like I still have grown to do um, before I leave and, and take that step to the NBA. You know, sometimes guys come back when they're already a really good player. Yeah. It happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw Buddy Heald was probably one of the most improved players in the Big yeah. 12 this year. Yeah. Uh, George, same way. Mm -hmm. um, did that weigh into it at all? When you saw how much yeah. greater those guys were as seniors? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, um, when you, when you a junior and um, you, you see seniors um, do that, you also envision yourself that you can be one of those guys. And, and, and that's the motivation that I looked at it with George um, coming back and being a greater player than he was, you know, a year ago. And also, you know, Buddy Hill, you know, other guys like Angel Rodriguez at Miami, you know, him being a senior. I think it, it, all that ties into, you know, what, what the big goal is for me and I'm um, trying to get my body better. Um, try to play, you know, at like 188 opposed to 175 and uh, and work on my outside game and just getting a better feel and be a dominant player. So I'm ready to make that jump when the time is there. What did your mom say when you told her? Uh, she was happy. Um, she said it was going to be my decision. Uh, whatever I, decision I made, she was going to be right behind me. But when I told her, she said, yeah, yeah you know, she screamed, I'm happy. I, I wanted you to do that anyway, but I, I wasn't going to say nothing. So. Uh, I think it was big time, um, but not just, you know, me and my mom, but, you know, my grandfather, you know, my family, you know, they want me to get my degree. You know, I'll be able to be done with school um, in spring. I'll take six credits in the spring and, uh, you know, I'll be able to get my degree. So. And that's got to be a great feeling to know that you're, you're going to walk out of Iowa State with your diploma. That's, yeah. that's a big deal. Yeah, it's big time, uh, especially, you know, a kid coming from Flint. I just want to give, you know, the kids back there hope that you can still um, be successful in the school and on the court, uh, still able to get your degree, and also have, have uh, aspirations to play professional also after college. What did Coach Prom say when you told him the news? Uh, you know, Coach Prom smiled. You know, you, know, you know, that's good for us, man. You know, he didn't, he didn't show me how excited he really was, but I know by his voice and things that he was excited, and um, I'm ready to look forward to how he coaches our new group and everything, and um, we all going to embrace it and, and let him be a, a great coach. You said that you've got a chance to be the all-time assist leader, mm -hmm. the all-time steals leader yeah. at Iowa State. That'd be mm -hmm. pretty cool to look at the all-time leaders and see your name at the top of a couple of those lists. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, assists. You know, I think I'm 81 assists away, and uh, you know, uh, Naz, and, you know, and Matt know the guys. They're like, oh yeah. Whoever, whoever gets you that uh, 82 assists, uh, you got to take me out to eat. So I think when I get closer to it, a lot of the guys are going to, you know, try to be that one to get, you know, for me to give them the assist. But uh, for steals, too, I think that's big time. Also, I just want to leave, you know, a legacy here and um, give uh, some more excitement to the uh, Cyclone uh, department, uh, the, the Cyclone Alley and everything. And I'm just, I'm just a loyal person. and. Uh, I feel like it can, you know, benefit me and my teammates and uh, we can make a, a, a nice run.